Hi everyone, Kelvin Hoy here, the Cinephile. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking. I really appreciate it. So today I just want to make a short video, very exciting. Uh, I woke up to this. You know, I wake up, I check my phone, <laughs> as we all do. Um, so I woke up to this news, but just announced is Pixar's newest original film, not a sequel, original, thank goodness. Uh, it is entitled Luca. So I'm just looking at it right now. It will be directed by Enrico Casarosa, who I believe directed Luna, uh, which is a short film. I, I believe it came out nine years ago. I can't remember with which uh, film it came out uh, with. But anyways, this is the sort of plot summary. The film will introduce a boy named Luca as he experiences an unforgettable summer in a seaside town on the Italian Riviera. So basically, call me by your name <laughs> for children. Which, <laughs> call me by your name is not for children. Um, but I believe this version will be for children. And I'm looking at the photo here. It says Luca opens in theater summer 2021, which is awesome. Uh, one year from now, not too far. Uh, if you know the Disney Pixar marketing plan, uh, they usually introduce a film at D23 or a year if there is no D23 like this year. Uh, they introduce it a year before the film comes out with a concept image and the title and that's it. Uh, that's their marketing campaign. It's very very clever because it just it sort of plants a seed in your mind and then you just know it. They did this with Moana, uh, they did this with Bolt, they did this with <laughs> Bolt's an old one. That's uh, That film's 12 years old now. But they did it with um, Princess and the Frog. They did it with, I'm sure they did it with other ones, Inside Out, uh, where they just said, you know, they just had a title and they just said, I don't, oh, they did not have the title for Inside Out. They just said the Pixar film that takes you inside the mind. That was it. And I don't even think they had a concept image there. But it's just, you know, these little seeds that they plant. It's very interesting, very clever. Um, but I'm looking at the concept art. It looks very beautiful. I'll attach it here for you uh, so everyone can see it. But uh, it's basically two boys. They're jumping off uh, a not too high cliff, <laughs> I hope. I think it's uh, maybe 50 feet up. But uh, they're jumping off a cliff. They're having fun, which leads me to believe, and it looks, the title, um, you'll see it at the beginning of the video, but uh, if you look at the title card, it says Luca, Disney Pixar, and there's a little wave underneath. Uh, looks great, looks beautiful. It's it's what we expect from Pixar and Disney now. Uh, they have good leaders there. Uh, Jennifer Lee is the CCO of Disney Animation. And I believe Pete Docter is the CCO of uh, Pixar. So he directed Monsters, Inc., up and Inside Out, all original films. Uh, so this isn't his film. Uh, his film, his next film is Soul, which I believe is coming out in November still. Uh, this is the end of July that I'm making this video, so uh, I'm not sure if it's still coming out, but I believe it is, because uh, Tenet apparently is coming out at the end of August. So I think they'll just do, you know, they'll try to uh, make the theaters as safe as possible, and they want to keep them open, so they'll slowly uh, phase into that. But anyway, so I'm looking at the photo and it's very interesting, you know, and I, I'm not, you know, I want these videos to be honest and fun and just, you know, I don't want to make silly faces or, or whatever to get views, but I mean, I might make the title of this video, uh, uh, Luca, is this Pixar's first gay film? Because I'm looking at the concept image, it's Luca and another boy. So they're jumping off the cliff together. It's not a girl, so it's not that love story. So I, I'm thinking this film comes out in 2021. Uh, people wanted Elsa to have a girlfriend in Frozen 2. They did not do that in an obvious way uh, or, did, or a clear way. Uh, and I know some people were disappointed with that. And I thought that, I thought that was a good opportunity, you know, to have one of the characters, because you have Anna and Kristoff, right, which is a traditional, uh, 
I don't know if that's even the correct word, I apologize if I'm offending anyone, but uh, that's the traditional sort of relationship, man and woman. Uh, and then I, I thought, I really did think Elsa would have made a great, great in for that story, for Elsa to have uh, a girlfriend, but Pixar might do it. So, I mean, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm pretty sure if you've seen a trailer or even a poster, Call Me By Your Name, you know, it's a, it's a love story, just between two men. So that's cool, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. I think that's really bold. It's, it's uh, I mean, it's sad to say, sort of, you know, but uh, it's, it's a little bit bold. It's a little bit brave to have that for animation, for um, a family audience. I know some people will not enjoy that. Um, or not want that, you know, um, you know, in different countries and whatnot. I know this is a YouTube video, so I know I know this is mostly, you know, my YouTube videos are North America, but you know, sometimes they reach other places. So hi, and uh, yeah, I I do think it might be. I think it might be the first gay, not the first gay character because um, I I believe there was a um, a gay character in. Onward, which just came out this past March. So, they had that. Uh, there was a little bit of backlash. I can't remember the country, but one country banned it. Um, they either banned the film or they cut out that scene. I can't remember. I think they banned it. Um, but, I mean, that's unfortunate, obviously. But I do think, regardless, you know, whether it's the first gay Pixar film or whether it's the first love story between two boys... I mean, that's really cool in my mind, but regardless, even if it's not, uh, it says he has a uh, unforgettable summer with friends. I've read that as well. Um, this logline doesn't say that from Pixar's official uh, website, but uh, he says unforgettable summer with friends. And uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's Luca's a very interesting character. Let's just say that. This isn't a spoiler review or anything like that. So... Uh, he's a very interesting, he has a very interesting backstory from what I've seen on uh, the Twitter. So, yeah, what do you think about Luca? Um, would you welcome uh, a gay love story? Uh, I mean, just a love story between boys. Sorry if I'm being insensitive, insensitive uh, pardon me, you know, I, I don't, uh, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Um, but what do you think? Uh, are you excited for Luca? I think regardless, whatever the story is, uh, whether he just has an unforgettable summer with friends and there are female characters in there and, you know, whatever the story is, I'm sure it'll be beautiful. That's for certain. I mean, it's going to look fantastic. Um, it's going to look great. It's Pixar. Um, but I think, you know, it sounds very romantic. Um, so we'll see. We'll, from what I... Here, it might be a really interesting film. So I think, I think, um, you know, I, I hope there's emotion. I think it will be very uh, beautiful. And I think, I did, you know, I did one of these videos for Soul, which I have not seen, I still haven't seen it. I think Soul was supposed to come out last week or two weeks ago, uh, if the pandemic didn't happen. But anyways, uh, hopefully we'll see that in November and I'll do a review. But I think that would be very beautiful. I think it'll be more like Inside Out. Um, same director, same... I mean, that's the mind, that's the soul, you know. But there's a connection there. And I think this one will be more, you know, romantic. Um, but what do you think? Do you want a, a love story between two boys? Um, do you think it's time for that? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, until next time, I hope... You all stay safe, all right? Uh, be well and take care of yourselves and take care of your family members and friends. Um, I know it's a very interesting time right now. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you, bye.